Hi, my name is Eric Wong. I'm here at IDF 2015 with... Andy Davis, Director of Marketing for DisplayLink. Uh, Andy, would you tell us what's new here for DisplayLink? Absolutely, absolutely. We have a lot of new things here. What I'd like to start with is the whole universality and backwards compatibility story. I'm sure you've heard a lot about the new Type-C, yes. the latest USB connector. So here we have a Type-C docking station. And what that normally means is that you've got to connect Type-C to a Type-C notebook. Splenic changes that, gives you complete flexibility for IT. So we're coming out of this, we've gone into a standard Surface Pro 3. Surface Pro 3 connector here that you can see, this is just a standard A connector. So there's the backwards compatibility part, Type-C to standard A, three screens, just works the way it normally does for us. Obviously we've got uh, Synopsys IP built into our chipset that's, that's driving this. Here in my pocket I've got a Samsung S6, this is an Android device. So we're going to move from Windows 10 to Android on a mobile phone. And literally, that's just as simple of pull out that connector. Nothing changes on the docking station whatsoever here. And if we just go ahead and we plug in, and what's going to happen now is you'll see that the dock will recognize the Android phone. It's going to bring up two more screens. And here we have now full screen interactivity, a docking environment. And we've turned this mobile phone now into a PC. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drive the latest MacBook. The only connector that this has is that Type-C connector. So if you go ahead and plug that in there. So now we've gone from Windows 10 through Android, through Mac OS X, through standard A connectors, through micro connectors on mobile phones. Here's the latest Type-C connector, and you can see that absolute seamless integration. So here we are wirelessly connecting from this Dell notebook out to a YGIG docking station. This is YGIG 802.11ad, 60 gigahertz. So you'll see connection. The only thing we have here is a power cable. Uh, this is a wireless connection between these two. But behind this device, actually, we have a USB connected adapter, such as the one I've got here, DisplayPort connection, enabling us to drive 4K. Normally, this is only a 2K capable docking station, but we've been able to drive 4K with displaying technology. So, wireless to the docking station, an extended 4K a display port uh, using USB. Exactly, exactly. And this is where the device is, and obviously this is where we're using your USB IP as well. So this is the latest Dell Venue 8 tablet. It's an Intel-based tablet, and here it is running Android. So again, we're connecting out from the Android dock through an OTG cable into type A, and then an A into a type C. And you can see as Eric is actually typing, using the keyboard, using the mouse, we've turned this into a full productivity device using Android and Intel. That's great. Let's take a look at the next demo. Let's do that. So Andy, this looks like Linux you're running. It absolutely is. This is a world's first. A lot of people have been coming to us and saying, what about Linux capability on your USB 3 devices? So here, this is exactly what we're showing. This is launched. It's available for download from our website. Multi-screen Linux capability with Ubuntu. You can see how we plug directly into the interface for managing Windows. And here we are, Linux over our standard docking stations. So how does Synopsys help enable DisplayLink's silicon success? Well, you know, obviously the continuity between connectivity of all of these devices across our docking stations, USB is central to that but equally the output capabilities for driving displays over things like HDMI. So the USB IP from Synopsys we utilize, and of course from a connectivity standpoint, whilst we have DisplayPort and HDMI, HDMI is pretty much always there, and HDMI is where we have the Synopsys IP as well. Great, thank you very much for your time Very today. welcome, great to see you, Eric.